My name is Tom Kelly. I am the president and owner of Kelman Restoration. My primary job here is to lead Kelman into the next 50 years. Some of my earliest memories of Kelman, just coming to work with my dad and um, you know, crawling around the office, not much different than my own children do now. For years we talked about we're kind of the, the group to call when you don't know who to call. You have a flood, you have a fire, you have some horrible thing happen and upend your life. Uh, we help navigate that. Jerry Kelly and I were uh, friends from high school. Uh, we were neighbors. We went to church together. And uh, in our conversations about our livelihood, what we were going to do, we uh, had an interest in developing uh, housing for people. Neither of us were living in great housing, and we just believed in people, and that if we could get houses and fix them up, and fix them up beyond what we saw as the, the kind of housing that maybe we were living in, that there were people like us that wanted to live in better housing. The meaningful, important part of this job, uh, Kelman, what Kelman does, we have an ability to reach people in their not their darkest hour, but in a dark hour. And we come in, they don't know us from anything, and we have to establish trust. Um, and it's a challenging thing, especially as we keep growing, that we are trustworthy and we care. I think that's why we have so much success, is that people are genuine. And so we genuinely want to help others in a, a service that allows us to do that. It's neat to be so vital to the community. It's something that you see the fruits of your labor, you see tangibly how you're fixing things and opening places back up and um, changing people's lives. I mean, having been from the military, seeing how crises and stress and challenging situations uh, can be overcome and how they bring people together is very rewarding. Um, we're the people that bring order to chaos um, when everybody's walking away, we're walking towards it. We come across people in some of their most uh, overwhelming times, some of the, the worst days perhaps of their life. And I think if we can step in and help them, that, that's everything to these people. And if I can walk away from a situation and feel that not only have we got a good path for fixing their property, but also that we've helped them um, and made them feel a little bit better some days, that's a really, really good day for us, and that's why our work is very important. The Calvin Cares Foundation, how did it start? Where is it going? It's something that means a lot to our company. It means a lot to a lot of the employees who serve as in the fire service or in a public sector capacity. Um, so we do a lot with that program, or we were doing informally. And we just took the next steps of saying, let's get this together. Let's establish programs to build this. Um, so instead of really sweat equity, we went into financial uh, help and we leveraged things and it is growing to something I never thought it would grow to. I think the biggest, uh, you know, uniqueness to Kelman is the, it's the people. Um, it's really about the people. It's about building those relationships and having that reliability that if there is something that happens, I know I can call Kelman and they're going to be very responsive and take care of exactly what we need. You know, Kelman was on site within 45 minutes for one scenario and with another one our rep was on site within a half an hour and then the other one I think was technically an hour. But then also their responsiveness helped prevent worse loss. I have always viewed Kelman as a family. I believe that's, that we're all connected, all of the employees, the people that are working here now that have ever worked here, I, I just view them as, as my family, as my friends. If my dad were here, he would sit in the back and kind of lean back in his chair and he would smile. And he would be so proud of all of us and he'd be excited and he'd be strategizing the next, you know, what we can do here. But he would be so happy and he would be so proud. We're sitting in our showroom right now. We have a successful remodeling division. Uh, we have a fitness center. We have a personal trainer. We are doing projects an hour and a half, two hours away. We're being called, we're being asked to be the preferred vendor across the state. 2073, I think we, Kelman is for sure covering all of the state, probably the Midwest, if not the country. I see three little blonde haired, 
girls running the business um, if they want to. I would really hope to be able to see it and see the impact that we've had on our employees, on our employees' families, on the state, and in all of our local communities.